there, YouTube, Teenage Brickshire here, breaking it down with another LEGO set review. Today I've got the awesome, the amazing, the epic Bricklink eFall Designer Program Wild West Saloon. Bricklink, what, what was the number? 19004. So I guess that's Bricklink's number for it. It's a really awesome saloon, guys. I mean, this is just a great set. you got about 40 more days to order it, too, if you want one. Um, so yeah, I would totally, this is just an incredible, great thing that I had so much fun with building this and stuff. It was great. Just to give you, before we get into the review, it, it was a little bit of a long build. Um, a little bit tedious at times. There's a lot of tiles you have to put on, but it was it was fun. And it was about five and a half hours, which equated to about three Saved by the Bell episodes, two and a half bricks and bits, a uh, package of M&Ms, some other candy, and a bowl of Cheez-Its. So, yeah, that was that was what that wound up being. Oh, and a water bottle, too. So, yeah, it was, uh, it was a fun build, though. I had a, so much fun with this it was just it was great but anyway getting into the set here so this is obviously the Bricklink a fall designer set released in 2019 contains 1496 parts designed by lego part the wild west saloon and the first pure western set that has been made by lego or anything for quite some time now there's been a lego movie once that's a lego movie it's not pure western this is pure western i mean i guess you could say I guess you could argue Lone Ranger, but that's not... I mean, that's a license theme. I, I don't know. But whatever. Okay. Any, anywho, getting into the model itself here. Obviously, the first thing you might notice, besides the model... I, I guess I shouldn't have said that yet. There's this nice backdrop here. I did not mention this when I, I unboxed it, which I have a feeling I might get some comments about. But, anyway, this background here is actually the sleeve from the box, which is really cool. Um, so, I see it's... Box sleeve, if you recognize that from the other video, and you just unfold it, and it's this nice western backdrop. They have a background like this in every single set, which is pretty cool. So yeah, you can actually see them on their website too. They have it now in the photos. So that's a, that's pretty sweet. I, I was really impressed by that. Um, really like that. So actually, we'll just pull that out of here for now, because otherwise you can't see into the interior, which is arguably the best part. So do interior, exterior, whatever you want. And also, there's the 60th anniversary Technic 2x4 brick. 60 years of Lego. Um, one thing to note this is actually 60 years of Lego was last year. These sets are only being released this year because the A Fall Designer program took that long, I guess, to narrow down the selections and stuff. But Or the entries. But yeah. Oh, nice little thing. I'm just going to keep this in this package. Honestly. I might open up the one in Lowenstein Castle when, whenever that gets here. Probably in about three or four months. Um, so yeah, this one will just leave that in here for now. Nice little collectible. Whatever. I'm getting on to the saloon now. Hey, you know, Lego Movie 2 style. Or Lego Movie style. Um, so, anyway, just a quick spin around here. It's a, yeah, it's just a really impressive build. So many cool building techniques and stuff. It would, it, it's just hard to describe. You'd have to, just have to build it yourself, honestly. Um, just so you know, I was having a little trouble getting light inside, so I'll do my best, but it might not be the greatest lighting on the interior there. But anyway, we'll just start with the exterior. So, I mean, this is like the West, Wild West Modera building, pretty much. It's pretty big. Very, two stories, very bulky. Well, it feels like a Modera building when you're building it, honestly. Except maybe better in some ways. But, yeah, it uses a lot of parts in interesting ways. And, yeah, just, just good parts to use. And you can definitely see where he was limited by the parts palette at times. Because I guess there wasn't a 1x4 dark brown plate in the parts selection. Because all these should be on 1x4 dark brown plates, but they're each on two 1x2 plates, so... Yeah, I guess that was a thing. Okay, starting with the ground details down around the front entrance here. We have a nice little horse over here. A nice horse. Love this horse. Well, and Steve's got a horse too. I'm impressed that they actually had a horse in the palette because that's a more expensive piece, you know? Not the most common piece, but I guess you could use one. So these one in here. A nice little watering trough here made of the treasure chest lid. That's just a great use of the piece. Uh, looks really good. Uh, then there's a little one by two tiles of wanted poster here because in the old western sets they would have these they had these little one by two wanted poster tiles but obviously that's not a piece anymore so we just use that which is, I think is a really nice inclusion little basket here with a carrot for the horse in it carrots there anyway there's a little cauldron or bucket out front and what those are is on um, saloons there would be something there for you to spit your chewing tobacco into before you go in which I find kind of funny they put that detail on there if you remember in the Lego movie Wild Style spits into the bucket and somebody goes like what a lady or whatever so that was a that was a funny scene got some tumbleweeds out front here love the tumbleweed construction each of them uses six of these stems um yeah they're just fun to hold you can roll them around tumble the weeds it's, it's really fun yeah they're just built around the the brick with studs on all sides 
And the end without a stud has a um, one by one play with a hole in it put in there. So you can just stick branch in there. It's really, really nice build. So you get two of those. Love that. And the longhorn skull on the front is really nice too. I guess the Lego cow skull piece was in the palette. So he made a really good one out of a droid body and some um, of those horn branch pieces. It looks, it's, it looks really nice. Um, and those aren't actually connected. That's on a clip. And these are on those little one by one plates with studs on the end or whatever. Over here we got a pair of barrels with a lantern on it. And something I'd like to note, the lantern on there is actually a, the dark metallic color, so it looks kind of worn, whereas the lantern on the inside is black, because it's not worn. Which I, I like, I thought that was a good detail, because it's not, this one's leather worn. It's on two barrels, which is nice. And this beautiful cactus here, great little cactus build there, in sand green, probably pr prickly pear, it's got some flowers on it, very nice. Stuck at a 45 degree angle on that um, one by one plate, or two, Two by two plate with one stud. Looks very nice. Got a crate over here with a bunch of drinks in it, you know, in case they run out on the inside. Six bottles. That's a lot of bottles. It's very nice. Yeah, I like that. Um, and then there's a porch running around the entire front of it. A lot of plates on there. And you'll see as we get in, there's a lot of plates all over this thing. With a few um, one, ones with studs on there for minifigures to stand on. <clears throat> Comes all the way around. There's a large corner plate with a big smooth surface in the middle right at the front here. Which works really well. Um, coming around. Oh, there's still a minifigure in there. Oops. I had to film the minifigure part first because I had it all filled up. Okie dokes. Um, yeah, it comes all the way around here. Uh, looks really nice. And actually at the front, see, there's steps. Well, since you can't actually have plates next to each other on a 45 degree angle, one of them is a slight crack in between, but you can't even notice it from the front. It's really, really impressive construction. Uh, and obviously this is a, a 45 degree angle. Um, I don't really know how to describe building it. You just, I mean, you just had to build this thing to understand how clever it is. Um, and there's all these little door posts and stuff, really nice detailing, and obviously the walls are a big thing. It's really impressive walls. There's a full one down there, and then the other three are all built around windows. And how he did that is that's a bunch of plates um, stacked on top of each other to form like a staircase, and then he just covered it with tiles and clipped it onto some bars that are hidden up in the wall here. And then these, like, eaves are also clipped onto the bars. And these are clipped onto the bars, so those bars are doing a lot of duty there. Um, it's, it, yeah, it's just really nice construction, and then obviously to corner it off, like there'd be big logs or something, he's got these long pieces here with a whole pile of 1x2 slopes and dark brown, I'd say at least probably 70, maybe, I don't know, there's, there's a ton of them, and as it goes all four sides of the building, and it comes up to the peaks here, and up here you have a nice little porch, where you can have somebody up there, there's one stud right there for somebody to stand, there's the door continuing the wood pattern with some cheese slopes around it and dark blue door here you can open it to access the come on open it to access the interior okay i guess it doesn't want to cooperate right now there we go so you can get in get in, in and out that way nice detail and then getting up to the roof we got the little peaks here and then up on the roof just a nice big flat roof but still with some detail on here with this nice little thing in the middle got a treasure chest over here, which you can't open because it's next to the wall, but if you move it and open it, it's got a spoon on the inside, so go figure on that one. I wonder who's hiding a spoon up here, and then a bag of gold or something. I wonder what that is. Hmm. Interesting. And now we get to the my favorite part of the saloon, the interior. So, yeah, it's a really great interior, and if you want to get some more light in there, just take the roof off really nice they included that because it makes it easier to position some minifigures up on the balcony and stuff oh sorry so yeah that's nice 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 detail really really great detail so this is where the build was very tedious for me um the floor is just all these tiles like tons and tons and tons and tons of tiles and that's like the first 10 steps the first 10 steps took me like an hour um and the reason it took so long is the instruction book actually isn't the clearest between dark brown and reddish brown or it can it can be kind of tricky to tell apart sometimes um, when you're when you're building it because they like highlight the area in red, but the red just kind of creates this contrast that makes it a little harder to see the dark brown and the reddish brown with the lines between and stuff. So that that took a little while, but obviously I got it done. Um, so yeah, getting down into the interior here, we got this very nice little table, card table or something, with the bottle on there, a very nice little lantern build. I thought this was a really impressive use of piece. That's one of those little train wheels right there. There's the bandages striding in. Um, should, yeah, didn't really move them. But you've got some very nice chair builds. Beautiful little chair builds here. Let me show these off for a sec. 
uh, with these nice, the, the little, I don't know what you call these studs with rod pieces on there for the legs, looks really good. Um, great use of parts, reddish brown piece right here, the 1x2 plate with the handle on it, that hasn't been used in reddish brown, or it was in, there was one of them new suitcase, and besides that, it hasn't been used since 2004. So you get like, I don't know how many get in here, but you get some of them in here, which is really nice. You get a quantity of them, and such a pretty hard piece to find, so that was, that was really great. Um, and then obviously over here you have the bar. Yeah, yeah, the bar is a really nice build. It's got this great ornamental decoration on there, a nice smooth bar with a bottle on it. Oh, there we go. And then back behind it, there's a shelf with some more stuff. Actually, here, you know what? I'm going to try and pick this up. There's not really much loose pieces in here, so I'm going to go to just get it going. Oh, there we go. That. Yeah, there's the tumbleweeds, but that's it. Like a carrot. So, yeah, you can see there's some shelves back there with more bottles of stuff um, for whatever, drinking things. I don't know. Kid Friendly Channel. And then down there we have actually some of those one by two or those two by two window panes in tan. Never I didn't know this come came in tan until I got this set. Um forming like drawers at the bottom, which looks really good. Uh, really nice build there. Okay, the tumbleweeds aren't squished. Okay. And then getting back to the interior, we obviously have the nice chandelier here. Made with little candles around a thing that slightly resembles a wagon wheel, which is pretty cool. I was thinking about it and I was like, hmm, that kinda looks like a wagon wheel. That's fun. Um, and then my sister's favorite part, one of my sisters plays piano. So there's obvious, there's a grand piano down in the corner here, which is a very, very nice build. Um, let's see, actually, you know what? I'm going to try the same thing again. I worked once with the bar. Let's see if it works with the grand piano. Ah! Except your tripod falls over, which is a little bit of a problem. Okay. Grand piano. Or it's an upright piano, I should say. Very nice build there, though, with all the keys on it. Um, yeah, it just looks like an upright piano. This tool is a great build, too, using that um, 1x3 plate with two studs. Oh, and then I should mention the stove over here in the corner with this nice pipe running all the way through the building. And now using the nice elbow pieces. Actually, first set I've gotten with those elbow pieces. Or, oh, no, sorry, it's not. I got the resistance bomber, I guess. But I don't really get many new sets, so that was pleasant to get those. Um, and then there's a gold frog, and frogs used for the legs, which are, is really ingenious. Um, then there, there's a broom down here in the corner, a basket hanging on the stairs, which I find interesting. I don't, it isn't used to hold anything. It's just there. Um, upstairs is this long balcony running around the building, which is what you see in the like, old Western movies and stuff, so that's really cool. Uh, we've got a bottle hiding over here. Very nice, smooth staircase with studs on it for people. Um, the curtains, there's nice dark red curtains around the windows up here, which looks very good. Really like that. And the drawers, um, obviously in the corner. Very nice. Using the Unikitty, like, neck piece for the drawers. It looks really good. And there's a letter on the top there. And there's a portrait over there of a guy in a suit, which looks, really, I mean, it looks good. It's maybe a little out of place. looks a little too modern, but it works well. Um, and yeah, you can see the balcony comes rounding around there. Yeah, it's just, it's just a really, really nice interior. Really well done. I'm really impressed with what the designer did with this, and especially more that Lego didn't change it at all. I mean, that was when they brought these things to Billings to be tested, you know, just to make sure they were fine. Must have been hard for the designers, those guys, not to just completely redo this thing, but I don't see anything wrong with this. It's just a really great build, and now I'm just going to fill it up with some minifigures here and show you that. Okay, here we have the saloon all filled up with minifigures. This was a really fun part for me, you know, getting to put them all in there and, you know, kind of finish it off. So, I put a lot of them in here, so be prepared. Um, starting out front here, obviously, we have the Southern Bell or whatever up on the deck there. I just used the 2011, 2010 Castle Princess because I don't have a... I want to get the um, Lego Movie Southern Bell minifigure. And they're at the Suds Backwash or with the bartender because I don't have a bartender. You'll see who I use for that in a minute. And down here at the front, we have a classic Western standoff. Those two guys getting ready to draw some they're shooting irons or whatever you want to call it um coming around here we have a very sulky looking indian out there series 10 one and then or native american and we got a sheriff up there rearing up on his horse that's the horse from the side just threw a saddle on there over here we got a couple of bandits raiding the um and have the liquor supplies outside so yeah whatever um coming inside this is where it gets fun there's a lot going on in here um, unfortunately, it's kind of hard to get some light in here. Let's see about that. 
and just pop the roof off and there we go so now we've got a lot of action going on down here there's a very high stakes poker game going on down there between Dewey Cheatham and um, Flat Nose Curry I think was his name um, so yeah just some cards going on some minifigures watching got like series one cowboy a bunch of western people and some more like minifigures all about this series 13 sheriff series 12 minor all the good stuff there's a couple of cavalry soldiers back there on leave one playing the piano um, and sorry about the lighting uh, I was having a really hard time figuring out how to get that in there and there's a very silky or very mysterious looking bandit coming in the door it's the series 6 bandit um go yeah sorry it's just it's really hard to get light into this all right actually you know what i don't know what i'm gonna do well no actually that won't work never mind and the banker is in there serving his bartender he works pretty good for a bartender actually he looks he looks like it which is nice i'm up here we got cavalry colonel meeting with the indian chief lieutenant and another indian watching on sheriff coming up the stairs you know all good things this is that confetti ton of minifigures it's really great and as i pointed out earlier the designer left some studs on the floor, um, using those two by four plate tiles or whatever you want to call them to leave room for minifigures. So you'll notice they're kind of paired off a little, but it works out well. They you know, fit in there nicely, and yeah, you can put a lot of people in there. It's pretty great. Okay, so now let's get on to the final verdict of this, and whether I think this was a, a good experiment by Brick Hunt or not. Yeah, but before we get to the end, I um, just wanted to show you the instruction book again quickly here. It's a really nice um, instruction book. I was very impressed by it actually i was kind of i don't i don't really know what i was expecting but this is really good perfect bound looks nice um unfortunately mine does have a tiny little crease right there in the corner but otherwise it's fine uh but yeah there's a i read this in the unboxing the note from the designer so, so if you want to see that just go watch the video or you can just pause it right there but yeah this is what i mean it was a little bit not with the really bright light shining on it but i don't know just my normal i've got a very concentrated light on here right now I had actually eventually pulled that out and just shine it on here. With just my normal room light, though, it was a little bit... It was, it was a little bit tricky, let's just say. It took a little while. Um, but, yeah, you can see some of the beautiful construction here on this. Just really, really impressive. Um, yeah, it's, it was just a really fun build. And, actually, I was surprised by this. It has full inventory in the back. I'm not expecting that. I didn't think it would have an inventory. But I guess maybe because LEGO helped produce it, it does. But... I don't think like I'm in the instruction books. I, yeah, I, this just surprised me, but I was put pleasantly surprised. Um, and then, yeah, remember, you can see the um, full, I guess this is the full color palette used in all the sets, and they just put it in each one so you can tell them apart, which is nice. Uh, yeah, as you can see, where's like dark brown? Dark red, dark. Oh, I don't see dark brown on here. Hmm. Oh, there it is, yeah. As you can see, dark brown is almost, it's almost black. I mean, it's pretty, pretty darn near close. Or actually, it almost looks blacker than black. That's weird. But yeah, it, it was a little, a little bit tricky to tell apart at times, but I don't know. It was, it was a good build, good instruction book. Now on to the final verdict. So, overall, I think this is an absolutely incredible build of a Western saloon. I've tried to make saloons before, and mine were nothing as good as this. It was like a four-walled building with a little couple bricks as a bar you know something this is just a really really incredible build and the exclusive elements nice too um but yeah actually i do have one gripe about the exclusive element i was kind of hoping that each set would have its own but i have the feeling it's just going to be the exact same one in each set but yeah maybe it'll be like a different color or something i don't know but yeah whatever yeah it's just a really really fun set i mean it's got great interior all sorts of cool details in there um yeah, if you're a Lego Western fan, this is like a must-have for you, I would say. It's 150 bucks. It's almost 150 pieces. Or, uh, 150... Yeah, 1,500 pieces, I should say. 150 bucks, almost 1,500 pieces, which is right on the money there. Um, yeah, it's just a, a really great set. I think a lot of people enjoy this. I hope more people order. I think 1,700 were sold. 1,770 were sold within the pre-order phase. Didn't sell out like Lowenstein, but it was the second most popular one, and I am not surprised, because this is like a piece of Americana right here. Um, yeah, just, just a really, really overall great set, and I hope that they do the A-Fall program again. I noticed that they had that little card to the buyer in there, in the box, and it mentions, actually, here, let me grab it, I got it sitting right over here. Uh, they mentioned right here 
Through the AFL Designer Program, we will continue to explore more ways of collaborating with third-party services and others that can help realize even more AFL designs and ideas. Play well. So I hope that means they're either going to do another AFL Designer Program with another site, maybe Brick Owl or something. Or even Brick Set, I don't know. Um, but hopefully that just means they'll do another round of AFL Designer Program with Bricklink. Because I think that would be really great. There's a lot of ideas they didn't use. They didn't make anything space, which I feel like would be a big one if they did. Um, but they made Castle Western, now we need like a space... Then that would, that would just complete it, you know? Maybe a cool, uh, like a re new Aquanauts something. That would just be, that would just be really fun. But yeah, I, I'm glad that they did this. I'm excited for whatever they do next. I'm excited to get Lowenstein in a few months. I'm gonna do the expansion for that, so keep your eyes peeled for that. I'm gonna do another video with this one, putting in with the old Western sets, which will be interesting, because this thing is like twice as tall as all those, except maybe the, well, I guess they have the big signs on top, but yeah, it, the, I think the only one taller maybe is the band's hideout and like a tower on a radio, but. Yeah, so that, that'll be interesting to see. That's where a lot of the minifigures that were in here came from. Those old sets, and a few were collectible minifigures, and a few were other ones that I just threw together from the parts in those sets. Um, so yeah. Keep your eyes peeled for that one. And I'm Teenage Brickster. Over and out. Like, comment, subscribe.